Hey guys, Redstone here, and today I'm going to talk about my trip to Montana. Now, this was an awesome and not really awesome trip. Uh, so, I'm just going to begin um, by saying we took Allegiant, and you know how that went. <laughs> delays and delays and delays, and I actually have a video of us taking off. It was from Montana to California, not California to Montana. But, I personally liked it. I loved the boat ride. But, it ruined the whole trip for me. That my mom got engaged to Sean. Um, after 11 months. And, you know, I'm so upset about it. But, when I came into the realization that I just want my mom to be happy. And, that's all I really care about. So, I just have to deal with it. And, um, I'm not stoked that they're getting married. But... Maybe, maybe my dad send, did send them to my mom. I don't know, but maybe. But uh, let's just not get out of that sad topic. So what happened is, so first day I found out that I was upset. But second day it got a little bit better. Um, he was a little bit nicer to me. Um, and yeah, so first day was pretty bad, second day. And... I caught a lot of things. I caught a fish. I caught um, a toad. Which I'll talk more about in this video. Uh, I also saw a snake. It was just a gray snake. It was pretty cool though. I saw a snake on a rock. How cool is that? But um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, a snake is pretty cool. Uh, um, now what type of fish you might be saying? I didn't really catch a fish. The only fish I really did catch was was a fish fish like that big. I caught fish like that big, and it was really cool because I, I just went in with my cup and just scooped them up. It was actually really fun. Don't worry, I let them go. And then I got a toad named Freddy the Toad. I named him Freddy, and he was awesome. Like, I always would hell, hold him. I We didn't even know it was a toad. We thought it was a frog, so we just let it in the water, and it was trying to struggling to keep up. But uh, we just, and yeah, hopefully the toad's okay right now. Um, then what happened is we went on the boat. You know, beautiful boat rides. I mean, we went really fast, like 60, 65 miles per hour. Um, we sometimes went up to 80. It was really fun. Um, then the third day, we did pretty much the same thing. Fourth day, we did pretty much the same thing. Fifth day, we pretty much did the same thing. We pretty much just went fishing and went on the boat the whole time. I mean, it was not really that much to recap. But then we went home, and when I got home... I realized that I have such a great life, and I have such a great audience here. And um, when I got home, I was like, hey, I'm very fortunate to be have to have all this stuff around me. A lot of kids don't have this stuff, and I'm very, very fortunate to have all this stuff. And everyone who in, in the comments say I'm spoiled. Yes, I'm very spoiled. But you also have to remember, I've been through a lot in my life. And a lot of this stuff has been, you know, mentally, mentally putting me down. But, to be honest, I don't care, okay? Those people who call me spoiled, they're right. I am spoiled. But, what they don't get is how much stuff I've been through in my life. And, to be spoiled, I'd rather have, I'd rather lose everything in this room just to have a dad, okay? I would say that. I think a lot of people would say that. So, just saying, guys, I mean... I don't know, just like, just pretty much came through realization to me. So, those guys who are, don't have everything I have, remember, I don't have a dad, okay? I have a mom that always pretty much gets drunk, and I don't like her boyfriend. And, or now, in, now they're married. Not married yet, but they pretty much are. Um, so guys, I just want you to understand that, um... Even though I'm spoiled, not everything's perfect for me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, let's get a little bit more energy in here. Belt the bloody light button. I'll see you all later. You are a bunch of bloody legends. Bye. God, I stole that from Laser Beam.